Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday. We are continuing our week of Halloween celebrations with an unboxing. So today I have a diamond painting to share with you guys from the brand Oralella. This kit was sent to me to unbox on my channel. I did not purchase this with my own money. I always like to state that right at the front when I remember. Um, I do have an affiliate link and a coupon code in my description box for Oralella. If you are interested, I have completed multiple Oraloa kits at this time. Um, actually, one of my recent finishes was a kit from this shop. So if you would like to see kind of my thoughts on Oraloa kits as a whole, you can definitely check out that post review. You could also just search Oraloa on my channel. I very rarely will accept kits from companies that I've never tried before. Uh, when Oraloa reached out to me when I first started doing unboxings for them, I had already completed one or two kits from them at that point. So anyway, <laughs> today we're going to be unboxing a diamond painting from Oraloa. And this is, of course, a cute little Halloween kit. So this is La Sorciere by the artist Veyunette. You can see we have a really cute little witch. So we're going to take a look at this one. Now this one has been around for quite a while. I feel like this may even have been with them since, um, was that a correct sentence? I don't know if I said that correctly, but I believe that this kit has been with them since the beginning. I remember seeing this one unboxed pretty early on, uh, but when I saw it as an option to unbox for them, I was like, yes. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I didn't get to work on this one this year, um, but I do believe that she will be probably towards the top of my list for Halloween kits next year, which is absolutely insane that we're already talking about 2025, but she's so cute. All right. I believe I have this one in square drills, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, and it is a 50.8 by 70 centimeter kit. So actually a pretty nice size. I find the 50 ish by 70 ish to be very enjoyable. It's kind of just that perfect size to me. I don't know. It's it's like my Goldilocks kit, I guess. <laughs> it's not too big, but it's also not too small. I did drop my toolkit. Now I will say this is an older um, toolkit for them. I have shared the newer ones. Is this the old one or is this the new one? I feel like this is an older one. Maybe I'm wrong. We have some blue wax. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is an accurate representation. Yeah, I guess it is. We have a pair of very sharp tweezers. The Oraloa tweezers are my favorite. We have some washi tape, a white tray, a purple squishy, and a multi-placer. We have our pen, a couple of stickers, this little Oraloa party one. Very cute. And then we have one of their acrylic block things and then a little thank you card I guess yes thank you card so that is the toolkit I guess that is the newest version I do have one from a recent kit but it's not where I can see it right now so I can't compare but we have our toolkit we have our drills or lower drills do come pre-bagged these squares look very nice. We'll take a look at that in a second. And I'm just looking to see. Here we go. Our sticker sheet. So here is the image. Oh, we have a little drill hanging out there. Here's the image one more time. Again, this is Veyunette by La Sorciere. Nope, wrong way around. This is La Sorciere by Veyunette. Again, it's a 70 by 50.83 centimeter. Uh, we have 50 colors with four ABs, it looks like. Just taking a quick look at their symbols, just to make sure I don't see anything that could get confusing. Does look pretty good. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that would be 
that you could like kind of confuse for each other, which is always nice. I love <laughs> when companies use very, you know, like distinct symbols for similar colors. I very much enjoy that. Oh, this is so cute. Wow, this looks like a bunch of color blocking, which is amazing. <laughs> I will say that I do oftentimes find that Oraloa is pretty confetti heavy, but this looks very color blocky, which is quite exciting. I'm just rolling this backwards so I can get it flat. Now Oraloa is poured glue, so you can do this. If you have an opaque cover on your diamond painting, I would do a little bit of investigating. Chances are you probably have double-sided adhesive, which is so interesting to say because you feel like a lot of companies don't do that anymore, but there are definitely some that do, especially if you're shopping on like AliExpress or Timu. Um, so in the, do a little bit of investigation if you... <laughs> have an opaque cover but generally if you see a clear cover you're pretty good to to roll it backwards this is absolutely adorable and there is a ton of color blocking which like I mentioned is very exciting now one thing I have noticed in the past with Oraloa kits is they can tend to get these little air pockets in the covers now I just want to mention to you guys that these are air pockets there is nothing wrong with this canvas so what I like to do with most of my diamond paintings but especially with Oraloa is I will pull the plastic cover back to about halfway I want to make sure you can see my left hand. Yes. Um, and then I will just kind of give this a good tug from the top. What I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to flatten this out a little bit so we can get rid of where that little divot was. There's no, again, there's nothing wrong with the diamond painting. I have noticed that that can happen when a diamond painting is rolled up for a while. Uh, obviously, you don't know how long this diamond painting has been in that box. So I just like to give it a little bit of a tug and then I'm going to lay the clear cover back over. And hopefully you can see and hear <laughs> that we're moving the air bubble and we no longer have that that big bubble right there. So I'll do that with the bottom as well. Fold this about halfway and give the bottom of our diamond painting a little bit of a pull. And then we'll lay the clear cover back down. Flip this over and you can see that those little air pockets are all gone so this kit is good to go now let's take a look at this diamond painting if you've never seen an oraloa kit before we do have the oraloa branding at the top we have symbol and dmc legends on the top left and then again on the bottom right on the bottom of the canvas we have oraloa's social medias we have a little thumbnail with the artist and the title and the kit size as well. And then Let Your Creativity Sparkle is Oraloa's little slogan. So, this is so cute. She's adorable. I'm interested in her hat. Like, what is this? Number eight is what? 407. Interesting. So her hat is actually brown instead of black. That's interesting to me. I'll be very curious to see how that comes out because I think, I guess I just assumed that she had a black witch's hat. So I'll definitely keep an eye on that. Like I said, this will not be a soon finish for me. It will be a 2025 finish, hopefully, fingers crossed. But I'll be interested to see how that renders because I feel like she has a purple shawl and a, a purple 
dress, purple blue dress. So I guess, I guess her hat's brown. We'll figure that one out together. Um, as for the drills, I do just want to take a look at the drills. If I can get in. There we go. We will take a look at the ABs in a second. I just want to take a little peek at some of these squares. So let me grab a tray. I had, I actually had one ready. Look at me go. So this is DMC 3765. Now I have worked on, oh wow. These look so much better than the squares I've worked with in the past. I am seeing a piece of trash, but that's okay. You can see right here where my finger is, it's hollow on the bottom. So you wouldn't be able to use that one because it wouldn't lay flat on the diamond painting. But look at how nicely these lined up. I was starting to say, I have worked on a couple of squares from this company. I want to say two, at least two kits, but possibly three of the Oraloa kits I've completed have been squares. And I didn't have the best luck on my first kit with their square drills. I did complete an Oraloa in February of this year that was a square kit that I fared better, but these look even better than what I worked with on that kit and they're so sparkly. I do see one more piece of trash. There's a little hole in this drill, but these look much better than some of the past squares I've seen from this company. I tend to, I don't tend to, I do enjoy their rounds, um, but I tend to be a bit more picky with square drills and these look really nice. I'm intrigued. <laughs> Let's take a look at one more color. How about, um, it looks like there's no 310. Wow. Okay. So one of our darker shades would be 939. Yes. No 310. Really? What is the top of the crow then? Oh, the crow is 939. Interesting. Is it even a crow or did I just make that up? No, I would say that's a crow. <laughs> All right, those lined up pretty well also. Very sparkly for 939 pretty. I'm just taking a little bit of a closer look. Sorry that I'm off frame or out of frame, but I just wanted to take a closer look here. Yeah, these look nice. Cool. Put these back and we'll take a quick look at the ABs. There's a little bit of static in these, which is fine. I don't mind static when I'm kidding up out of these baggies because I can just shove a dryer sheet in here and give it a really good shake and I'm pretty much good to go. So 26, okay. I don't like working out of baggies. I would definitely still kit this up into containers, but when I'm dealing with static and trying to get rid of it, I do like when the drills are in these baggies. Ooh, we actually have a pretty good amount of these ABs. So our first one is 208, which is a medium purple, I guess. Very pretty. This is the letter R on the canvas. So let me see if I can find where we have some letter R's. Hmm, most of the purple is in her, oh, here we go. So she does have a 
shawl or a wrap on and a lot of actually all of the letter R is just kind of throughout here it looks like there is some type of pattern which is hard to see in the original picture I think they're leaves I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that yeah it's pretty dark I think they're leaves and it looks like these don't make up the leaves but they kind of highlight around them so we have some up along her chest here around here as well and then kind of down as it drapes down the back of her so very pretty for that purple next up we have 518 which is symbol letter n ton of this one again like a medium blue these are all throughout the background so behind her she has this like fuchsia pink color and then there's a bunch of leaves and I believe there's like a tree this looks like a tree to me so this medium blue is all throughout the leaves like highlighting kind of like the veins of a leaf and then they just go all the way around the entire border so like up here where you have all these leaves hanging down right through the middle and kind of like branching out is this blue ab so that's going to look pretty cool um very interesting i'm so interested to see how this color palette comes to life because it seems it's a little bit different than i was expecting and that's not a bad thing it just has more of a unique <laughs> color palette i guess if you look at the image and then like the image looks pretty dark but then you look at the diamond painting it actually looks kind of bright so i'm very intrigued to see how how this all comes together but we'll see i'm interested <laughs> all right next we have 550 which is letter t some of these did not get all the way in this is a very dark purple i'm trying to mess around with lighting that is the one thing about when it changes from like spring and summer to fall and winter i have no I have like little to no natural light by the time I get home from work. So it can be a little bit difficult to, to film, but we have a dark purple. And again, this is the letter T. I'm seeing this right here in the back of her hat. I don't quite know what that is supposed to be. I think maybe it's, uh, yeah, I don't know what that, why it's purple, if I'm being honest with you. I feel like this part is kind of like the back of the ribbon that's around her hat. So perhaps this is kind of like highlighting that. I'm not quite sure about that placement. Then there is some at the top of her shoulder right here. And then under her elbow and kind of outlining this purple shawl that we talked about is where you'll find those dark purple ABs. And then our last AB is 5200, so beautiful white. And this is symbol L, and I'm seeing that all throughout the center of this orb that she's holding. Sorry for the glare. She is holding some kind of magical orb, and I'm seeing that all throughout the center there. And I think that that is it for the ABs. So for ABs, in terms of anything additional that I would do to this kit, I think maybe I would give her a little AB and her lips would be kind of cute just to kind of make them look glossy. But I don't feel like this kit needs anything else. Like I mentioned, the picture just looks a bit darker than some of the drills that I've looked at. So I'm very interested to see how this one comes together. I will say if you're looking for a color blocky kit from this company, this one seems to be very color blocky, which is exciting. It will definitely go on my list for next Halloween. Even though it's a square, I can kind of deal with the squares if it's going to be 
more color blocky than not. So a very, very cute kit. Let me know if you've worked on this one. Um, I don't believe this is available in rounds. I think she's only available in square because I do tend at this point to pick rounds from Orloa um, just because not loving square drills at the moment. <laughs> so very, very cute kit. Thank you so much to Orloa for sending this one to me. Again, let me know if you've worked on this one. Um, I would be very interested to know your thoughts and how the color palette came out compared to the original image. So one more time, this is La Sorciere by the artist Veillonette. It's a 70 by 50.83 centimeter. We have 50 drills, 50 drills, 50 colors <laughs> with four ABs and they are square. So again, I think this one's only available in square, but here is our image. I'll try to give you guys a bit more light. There we go. That's a bit more color accurate to the image that I see. And then a significantly brighter canvas, but we'll see. <laughs> just because it's rendered, like just because the image looks brighter doesn't mean it's actually going to be. Uh, so I am intrigued. With that, that will be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back with you guys tomorrow for Halloween. We have a bit of a Halloween special. So hopefully you guys will come back and check out that video and I will see you guys then. Bye.